Hello, 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 everybody. It is Mia with Southern Willow Crafting and Chalk with Mia. I am um, here tonight because I'm finally going to do a project that I had uh, posted on my page a couple of days ago saying that, asking if you guys wanted me to try it, and I got a couple of votes saying, yay, go for it, let's try it. So, um, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get my camera set up here. Uh, so just hang with me for a moment. And we are going to get this done. All right, guys. So as always, as you guys know me, you're going to have to have some patience with me because as always, I have never done this before. <laughs> as you guys know, I like to try things for the very first time on a live. And that's what we're gonna do. So give me a moment. So this is the transfer. So you guys know that the last couple of days I've been uh, working with um, windmills and and that sort of a thing. Uh, that's just been my jam recently. I see there's a comment, and you guys know me. It takes me like, hi Missy, how are you? I was wondering who that was. All right, so let's see here if I can. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? All right, and I went and got this really cute flannel um, today. Let me share this to my boutique. Let's see here, what did I say? A flannel, comma, bleach, and chalk couture walked into my craft room. <laughs> oh, you guys, you have to have a little bit of humor every now and then, right? Okay. Um... All right, guys, so, all right, so I got this really cute flannel today. Um, I got a couple of them, actually, because I was thinking, oh, my gosh, if this does not work, I'm going to have to um, <laughs> try it again and do something different. Okay, so I looked up several different techniques on how to do this, okay, and there are several. Hey, Lisa, how are you? I'm doing well, Missy. Thank you for asking. Okay, so there are different techniques on how to do this, guys. But the easiest one that I found was the method I'm going to be using tonight. Let me get that cord out of the way. Sorry. That's kind of annoying. All right. So, okay. So what we're going to do, um, now there's different techniques of dipping it in bleach. There's techniques with... You can bleach just the bottom of the flannel, the arms of the flannel, all these, all these really cool things, right? So I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, um, you know, recommend you don't, you have something underneath, okay? Um, that way you can protect whatever it is. Um, you want to lay this out because I want to do, the method that I want is, and I love it when they do just the bottom of the shirt or just the sleeves, but th what I want to do is I want to have like a circle here that is, um, that is bleached out. That's just kind of what I'm wanting to do, okay? So I've got a piece of cardboard about, right, it's about from here to there, Okay. Hey, Julie. Julie, I'm doing the, um, so Julie was my inspiration. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Oh, I'm doing well. So Julie is another chalk couture designer who just jumped on. She did this method. Now she did it differently. Um, Julie, I ended up YouTubing it and because I'm going live with it, I found this to be the easiest method. Now, God help me as I normally do. I haven't tried this out yet. You guys are my guinea pigs. So I took my chalk couture spray bottle and I filled this bad boy with bleach. Okay. Um, hi, Pat. So this is pure 100% bleach. Okay, guys. Um, some people do um, a watered down. I think in order for it to work as fast as I want it to, the people that I watched, they were crafters and they did it live and it was beautiful. And it worked out for them, so it's going to work out for me. All right, so what they did is I'm going to spray the area that I want um, to be bleached out. And then we're going to take some paper towels and we're going to pat it, right? And then we're going to bleach and pat. Um, and it should happen pretty quickly. Pat from Alabama, thank you for watching, you guys. All right, so here we go. It's 100% bleach. And I am just going to, now we got to wait a couple seconds in between 
let it kind of soak in. So this is the transfer. I just loved the red, white, and blue flannel. Um, and I thought it would be so cute for just this rustic kind of country girl. Um, it kind of had that, that vibe. So, um, now I will tell you if you're doing this inside, you might want a ventilated area because you guys know bleach, uh, bleach is pretty darn strong. So, um, <laughs> yes, Julie, I am doing it. I am doing it. Um, kind of funny. All right. So. There's going to be a little bit of just sitting and chit-chatting during part of this because some of it's a timing issue. I should get you guys to be my timer. I think they said, I should have written that down. I think they said 60 seconds or so. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to see. Hey, Jamie, how are you? You in for a little crafting tonight? <laughs> you can't see the full effect right away, not until after you rinse and dry. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking, Julie, but then these ladies, I mean, it was pretty, pretty effective. So we're going to see. I'm hoping, spray some more, okay. I'm hoping that it's going to be a pretty, pretty nice effect. And I'm not really caring about the, um, I want it to look kind of splattered. I don't want it to be perfect, right? So I am I am just um, randomly doing it. There is no reason or pattern to what I'm doing. Get under the pleat. Okay. Thanks, Julie. See, she's she was my true guinea pig because she already did it. But I think you did a different method, right, Julie? You did it like in a pan and um, let it sit, right? So I saw where some people tie a rubber band around the area they want and then they let it sit and bleach. Um, and then, you know, and then uh, work from there. But I wanted you guys to kind of see the whole process. So that's why I'm choosing this method. I'm wondering, should I put my heat press on it? Should I apply heat? What should I do? Oh, wise one. Just make sure it's even all the way across. Yes, I used a pizza pan or a cookie sheet and poured the bleach right straight on the shirt. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah. I know... Um, yeah, it's just straight bleach in this little bottle. There's no, no, like, it's not concentrated. I mean, it's not, you know, um, doesn't have any. Any water mixed in. And I just keep applying layers and layers of bleach. And then I will keep patting it dry once it sits there. I'm going to be so upset if this doesn't work. Well, I mean, it'll work eventually. It's just, um, yeah, straight bleach. Okay, good. It's just, uh, I want this method to work. <laughs> because it worked when I watched a YouTube video, so it has to work, right? If it's on the internet, it's true, right? <laughs> right? Oh, sometimes the heat will help. Okay, so maybe I'll, um, I'll apply a little bit of heat here in a minute. I'm just kind of pushing it in, pushing it in. I'm not seeing any discoloration happening yet. I think I should just, pull, well, I'm going to spray because, all right, let me turn my easy press on. Maybe that'll help too. Maybe I should have watched that video twice. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes? No? You go up to about 300 degrees. We're gonna let this sit, because I know it does take a moment. Moment in time. I think I see it fading. <laughs> oh, Julie, you are awesome. I appreciate the encouragement. <laughs> you guys can all just lie to me and be like, it's working, it's working. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. That's just awesome. Okay. 
I mean, their video was like less than 20 minutes. Now, what they did is they had a vinyl stencil and they put the stencil on, bleached, and then they lifted the stencil off. And of course, it then, um, you know, worked. It then worked. I'm going to wait to my heat press. So you think the heat will help it? Should I keep spraying? What should I do? Stay the course. Okay. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> Bleach this shirt, I will. Can you guys tell I've been watching Star Wars with um, my son? What's what's his name? Uh, fix the camera so it's centered better. That's something I can do. Okay. Hold on. I'll go up. I'll raise it. I'll raise the camera. I did have it lower the other night for another project. There is no try. Yes. Absolutely true. Okay. Is this better? Let's see. All right. We're going to do another... I wonder if my bleach is old. <laughs> no telling. Does bleach get old? Does it get old? I don't know. Does it? Yay! Okay. I want it like really bleached out. All right, we're going to try this with the heat press. See if the heat helps it a little bit. Should I put parchment paper? Probably, right? Yes, it has a little ink on it. We'll be okay. All right. Let's try. Pause. What does pause mean? Meaning I should just wait? Am I impatient? I am impatient. I tend to be very impatient. I want instant gratification. All right, we're going to do that. I'm going to refill my... I'm going to refill my bleach. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining. Can somebody tell me, does bleach get old? I think it does, doesn't it? It still smells like bleach. Hmm. All right, we're going to put it back and do it again. Maybe my bleach is old. Okay. Another round, you guys. All right, here we go. Okay. You do? Glad you do. like maybe I can have a whole category of um videos called Pinterest fails we can just call them YouTube fails because you know this is what I do I see something I get so excited I go all out I buy like three flannel shirts this is it this is gonna be the thing I use Dollar Tree nope the Clorox the next day then bam it was perfect okay so I do have Clorox this is the bleach I'm using, right? But I'm wondering how old it is for, for reals because, let's see here. I mean, because no telling, I've probably had this bad boy for a century or so. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I've lived here since 2015. Is it bad if it's that old? It's lighting, lightening a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's my bleach. Maybe it's my bleach, y'all. 
Oh, yeah, I'm wondering if that's the case, if my bleach is just old. I know how you feel, bleach. I know how you feel. All right, we're going to let this sit for a second. Oh, it'll put holes in your shirt just because it's so powerful it eats right on through. Maybe. I know the girls did say let it sit for about 60 or 90 seconds, which I have not done. So we're going to... I do have OxyClean. You think OxyClean would do it? <laughs> Blow dryer. Oh, blow dryer. I do have a blow dryer. Ah, Julie, you're amazing. A little bit there. see a little bit where the crease was. All right, we're going in for another round. I might just start pouring bleach on this bad boy. It doesn't, what's that? It doesn't work. You can ink it white, then put country gold over it. Oh, that's true. Thank you. Okay, that'll be my next step. And then what I'll do is I'll get either some really good bleach or I'll do it off camera and then sh and then make sure the process works. <laughs> and then we'll do it on camera. It is fading a little bit. But not like I want it. can do is I do have a little pan since the spraying isn't working girls let's try dipping it in a pan okay hold on all right ladies it's a thrift store flannel so I don't feel so bad if it doesn't really work because then it's not as much uh, lost here okay so, I've got this pan. You cardboard box is going to go back. All right. We're going for it, ladies. This is Clorox. That was what I was using to put it in my uh, chocolate Couture and spray bottle. Okay. Just straight up bleach. How much did I put in, Julie? Right into the cardboard now that the cardboard is wet enough it may stay in the shirt now that could be oh maybe but hey we're going to trial number two they were doing it with a plastic um tablecloth so it may be that the cardboard is soaking it up i don't know okay this is what we're gonna do because i want it random yep i just did that that's what i did <laughs> We're just gonna let this bad boy soak for a moment. How long do you leave it in there, Julie? Oh, yeah, that would have been good. Good idea. Where were you about 30 seconds ago, Julie? Unbutton the shirt and only put the back in. Yep, did that. Okay, how long do I leave it in for? I should have gotten gloves. Where are my gloves? I used to have gloves. Let me find gloves so that I can rinse this bad boy out and then we can hit it with a blow dryer. Oh, 
Uh, resin is not what I need. I don't need resin. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to... All right. You will see the fade. I will see it. I should have put it in other side. But I guess I'll see the fade on either side. Till it fades enough. Okay, if this doesn't work, then you know what? We're just going to do it on the back of a t-shirt, on the back of it. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? We'll end up in the bleach, and it may bleed if you leave it too long. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking my bleach is old, you guys. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yay! So I'm doing my Pinterest, my YouTube fail project here, trying to bleach the back of my shirt, but I think I'm discovering that my bleach is old. I mean, it smells like bleach, it feels like bleach, it looks like bleach, but it doesn't behave like bleach. So, um, but that's okay. You guys are learning, see? Hopefully you guys are learning what not to do. So that way, when you go to do this project, you will already know, the more you know. Okay, we are going to squeeze. Yeah, see the colors aren't even coming out in my bleach. How long did you have to leave yours in for, Julie? Was it a while? Or was it almost, because most of the videos I've seen, it's almost instantaneous. The sink with all water and then throw it in the dryer or blow dry it. Okay. Yeah, most of the videos I've seen, it's almost instantaneous, and I was worried about this that my that our bleach was gonna be old. Okay. Well, what I will do is um Yeah, my, my um, Clorox is not even going colored. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do, bummer. Okay, so I'm going to throw this one aside for right now. We'll throw this in the, I'll rinse it off and um, put it in the wash later. We're going to move this over to the side. So what I will do is I will buy better bleach and we'll do it again another time. But doesn't mean we can't do like what Missy suggested. And we're going to just paint the back of one of the flannels that I bought. All right, so let me get one of the other flannels. Oh. Okay. So I've got this really cute flannel. Look at this. It's red and white check on the inside. And then this cute oops, design on the outside. All right, let me get this bleach out of my way because I'm going to end up hitting it and dumping it everywhere. And that would not be good for anybody. Okay. You are going over here. All right, guys. So we are going to do the, the crafter's version of a bleached shirt. Okay. And we're going to take some ink. Hey, Shelly, how are you? Hey, Leanne. Okay, so if you guys are just joining me, you will know that I'm doing my YouTube fail project because I am trying to do a bleached flannel with the country girl and I discovered that my bleach is old and so it's not working. So we are gonna do this the crafter's way. I've got some couture ink here. And we're going to ink a big white spot and then we're going to put the transfer on and we're going to be good to go. And you guys, it won't be the same exact thing, but you know what? It'll be good enough for tonight's live. So this way you guys don't feel like you were cheated out of something. At least you get some type of crafting. <laughs> but as I told you guys, I actually don't mind failing live because... Um, 
then you guys can learn from that, right? You guys can see what, um, what happens. Yeah, Leanne, I knew it did, but I didn't know it got that bad. I mean, like, it's not even, I'll show you guys the shirt even after we do this. It's not even turning my shirt at all, um, which is pretty shocking. But yeah, and I know uh, Julie's on here. She said she had done the same thing. She had used uh, cheap bleach and then went and got Clorox brand and bam, big difference. And I'm using a Clorox brand, but it's, uh, it. I've lived here since 2015. It's probably just as old as, as many years as I've lived here, just saying. And now I have no water because my water container is full of bleach. All right, and I'm not about to put bleach into my ink. <laughs> Let me talk about fails, my gosh. Okay, so my white ink, I was trying to get this one open. Oh my gosh. I try to open my pastes and inks at least once a month. Whew. Tell you, who needs a workout plan when you've got jars of paste and ink? Oh, there we go. That's much better. Okay. Um... Good Lord. All right. So, all right. Hey, Amy. Welcome to the world of chaos. <laughs> all right. So I put my ink mat underneath because I don't want it. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it goes through because there's nothing on the other side, really. But we are just going to take my ink and... Actually, we're going to get one. I don't know. Well, no, I don't know if the big squeegee will work because it's fabric and it's just kind of. And I want it kind of like the bleach pattern I was going for. I wasn't looking for something perfectly, you know, circular or, um, you know, or laid out. I literally. I'm getting wrinkles and I'm trying to grab those wrinkles out. Oh, there we go. Um, I just want a splotch. A splotch of it. I should have ironed it. Maybe that would have helped. So this is one thing I do like about our ink mats is it does stick. And so you can work out those wrinkles that you're getting, or that I'm getting, I should say. Okay. Oh, Julie, no worries. Yeah, ink. Um, oh, you're talking about my other white container? It's because there's not a lot in it. And um, it's really old. I mean, look at it. It's the small container. I mean, how long ago did we use that size container? So that ink is extremely old. And I don't ink a lot. Um, not because I don't like inking. I just, I just don't tend to ink as much as I do uh, use the pastes, as you guys can tell. So we are just working our way around. I might take the, um, I wonder if taking that off will help. Let's try it and see. Because I'm getting some wrinkle effects. And I don't mind it being, if you use a transfer like the boss Use that for my rectangle. Oh, gotcha. Well, see, smarty pants. Like I said, where were you a couple of minutes ago? I like the kindergarten effect. <laughs> Kindergartner effect here. I like... This kind of random 
design. Because I don't, I actually don't want it perfectly round, right? I want it to be kind of like, you know, she's been splashed with mud. She's a country girl, right? She's a country girl. She's gonna have some kind of random randomness to it all. This probably does take up a little bit more ink than I would have if I'd used a transfer or obviously any other method, but that's okay. All right, you guys, we're gonna heat set this in a moment. I'm gonna hold the transfer up to it, make sure that we have most of the needed area covered. See, when plan A does not work, you immediately go to plan B. Thank you to my viewers. You guys are the best. Most of the time I usually have um, a project in my head and then I come live and you guys have so many other great ideas that alter my project, but for the better. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, this is why I like crafters because so creative. Now look at my fingers. Remember we always say check, make sure you don't have ink on your fingers. I have a tub of water sitting next to me. Let me just rub, 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 rub. All right, we're gonna have to heat set that. All right, so that's gonna cover most of it, it looks like. So, all right, now what color, this is the decision you guys have to make um, while I'm heat setting this, is what color do I do the country girl? Do I do the windmill in one color and um, the country girl in another? Do I just do it all one color? You guys are going to have to help me out here. Help a girl out. I'm wondering if like this is going to, oh, look at that. There we go. Kind of. These are big old four inch squeegee. Actually, this might not turn out kind of not that bad, you guys. Comparison to the bleach effect, might be kind of similar here. All right, so you guys start thinking about, I've got a lot of the inks, so whatever color we ultimately choose, I, I'm gonna pretty much state that I probably have it. Okay, I'm just saying. Oh, my easy press went out. Hold on. So just like um, if I just inked a transfer or whatever. Okay, Leanne, both in black. There is black in this shirt, so that would or navy. I can't really tell. I think either would work. Camp. Camouflage the windmill with fun colors. Oh, I could do that. Um, are you talking about each one being a different color or like an ombre effect? Uh, that one's already got ink on it. I'm gonna, this is just regular old parchment paper. Just letting y'all know, it's just regular old parchment paper, dollar store parchment paper. Now that you don't have to have any special parchment paper for. You don't need like the top of the line. You just really need just that barrier. All right, my heat press is almost there. The windmill with fun colors. All right, so what do you guys think? Black, windmill, navy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a navy. So what if we did it in a navy, gray? Gray would work too. Gray is in here. Mixed together. Someone did one today. I saw it was cool. You do you, boo. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. All right, so I'm thinking 
maybe navy windmill, I mean, uh, gray windmill with country girl and navy. That's what I'm thinking. Let's, let's keep this process simple this time. I'll get a little bit crazy my next go round. How about that? <laughs> we kind of know how this is going so far. So, whew, yeah. But you know what? This is why I'm here for you guys. So that I can make the mistakes. Like I said, I can make the mistakes. You guys can then learn from my mistakes. So what this is doing is it's just heating that ink right into the shirt. And it's making it permanent. So now, just like you know, when you go buy fabric ink or whatever. Oh, that looks kind of cool, actually. I love the... Um, unorganized part of it. All right, we're gonna now just do the other side. You have to do both sides. I don't know why. I just do what they tell me. And we heat set this. Um, I think I'm getting it. Uh, so it's gonna heat set the ink right into the fabric and make it permanent. I think so too, Julie. Gosh, thank you, Missy, for making this suggestion. You always help me out on my lives. Okay. All right, so, whoops. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so let me see what gray I have. I do have navy, midnight sky. Yep, I have midnight sky. So I'm thinking that for the country girl words. And then storm storm I think it's more of like a grayish I think and if you guys don't know this you can mix your inks and your pastes actually you can mix them and make your own colors Ooh, I have shimmer silver <laughs> if you guys know me you know I love glitter I do I do Although I do not like glitter in my hair, I do not like glitter everywhere. I do not like glitter oh, in random places, Sam I am. Okay. All right, we're moving on, moving on. All right, we are going to, I have no idea if this is all centered, by the way. Guys, hold on, maybe I should, all right, let's, we're going to put that on my shirt. Okay. Little sewing trick here. I have the two corners of my shirt. I just want to know where that middle is. Okay. It's going to be about right there is the middle of that from these two points here. Gives me at least an idea. Okay. Actually, I did pretty good centering it because it's pretty right on. It's a blotch. Okay. All right. Just like when you're working with your pastes, you want to make sure that there are no air bubbles. Okay. Um, especially with ink because ink is permanent. And it will be hard. Now, because I'm doing it on another ink, it probably would be a little bit easier to clean up. But you don't want to test those waters. Okay, guys. So, here we go. Are you guys ready? Shimmer. I know, right? Should I do the shimmer? Oh, all right. You convinced me. Let's see if it's still good. Because, look, it's one of my tiny containers. You guys. Let's see. Oh, 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 it looks like it's got some of the oils or something coming up. I don't know what they make these out of. Oh, but look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, we are doing, we're doing this. All right. Throw that in the water. Okay, girls, we're going in. Yes, I agree, Leanne, we are doing it. It's funny, you know, I said I don't work with the inks that often, but I do love the inks because they're so fluid. They, they just have a different consistency. 
than the pastes and they don't dry as fast. Um, so it's probably because they don't technically have chalk in them, I would imagine, um, because they're permanent. They don't need the chalk. I'm hoping this will show up against the white. If not, you know what, we lay it back down and then we do a color on top and maybe some of that shimmer will come through. So we could have done a layered. So we could have done the gray or the grayish, whatever you want to call it, and then did a shimmer on top after that dried layer came through. All right, guys, so you treat it just like your paste. So you put it down and then you pull up all that excess. So I'm just getting all that excess and putting it right back in the container. Okay, we're gonna move that over. And again, like I said, because it's ink, I'm not in such a rush. Um, I mean, I don't wanna take forever, but I'm not rushing like I do when it's paste. Navy and silver go together, right? Well, they do today. silver in there. That's okay. So this is going into the windmill theme. So you guys, I do have a private crafting group and we've been talking windmills yesterday and today. Um, and so that's why I'm doing this project live. If you guys want to join that crafting group, just type the word VIP in the comments. Um, and I would be happy to add you. If you're interested in this transfer, I will put a link to it in the end um, of this live once I go, once I, you know, finish everything up and clean up my mess. Okay, you guys. Um, the transfer is reusable. Yes, absolutely. It did show up, so it went back and moved the whole transfer over a titch. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we're going to see. Oh, it is a little light, Julie. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show you guys how reusable this is. OMG, you guys. Yeah, so this transfer, I'm just going to clean it off with some water and a paper towel or a disinfectant wipe. And then I can use it, corporate says, eight to ten times. There are people who have used it more than that, just depending on how well you take care of your transfers. Um, and then you're good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with this grayish color. Because the silver, although beautiful, I don't know if it's, it's showing up a little bit on camera. I think it would have been better if I had used this as the backdrop and then d did it. But I'm not unhappy. I think this is so cute. I'm actually, see there, okay, we're going to pull a little Bob Ross here. There are no mistakes. There's just happy little accidents, you guys. This is amazing. All right. Let me clean up my space a little bit and then we're going to put this back down and do that grayish color on top and hope that some of that silver comes through, okay? All right, so we technically need to dry. I need to heat press that shirt. All right, guys, I got a lot going on. Actually, you know, out of the light, it's the lighting. Out of the light, it actually shows pretty well. Hold on, let me see if I can, I don't know if it's gonna show up for you guys. I'm still gonna do it, cause I just wanna see, but I don't know if that showed up better. You guys could see. All right, so I'll show you how to clean this transfer. All right, I'm gonna use disinfectant wipes because my water is now, my water bottle is full of bleach. Okay, hush. Okay, so this is just a plain old disinfectant wipe. And um, some of our colors are quite strong. So you get sometimes what we call ghosting, which just shows the, the fade of that color on the transfer. <laughs> you can see how much I really, this is how much I trust the products. I do it right on my table. Um, and it does not damage my table. And then we're going to do the other side as well. Oops. Well, you know what? I do have a tub of water and I have paper towels here. So 
I'm going to dip it in the water. And I'm going to show you guys. So super simple. <laughs> yes, Michelle. Hopefully this is helping. So technically, so our, our transfers have a sticky side, which is this side. And it, it's sticky. Um, and then the main side. And when you dry it, you want to, you don't want to have this sit like this on your table all night because it's going to stick to your table and then it can ruin your transfer. You can either stretch your transfer pulling it up or it's going to leave some of that sticky, um, which you don't want. So you just want to make sure that the area with the transfer area is clean. But if you guys can see, there's some what we call ghosting here. And we do have a product called, um, I don't know what we call them, but they're like magic erasers. And if you swipe over your transfer with it, it gets rid of most of that ghosting if you don't like it. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, it's really just there. Okay, so one more swipe and then just for good measure. And then I'm gonna hit it with a blow dryer. Um, and then I'm ready to reuse it. Now, if I wasn't gonna reuse it tonight, now you do not want this, a lot of times what we do as designers is if I'm working on a project, I'll have this sitting in a tub of water, um, but you don't want it sitting in that tub of water for too long because that will start to dissolve the sticky on the back. And you don't, you know, you obviously don't want that. You want the sticky. So, um, so if I was gonna let it sit overnight to dry, I would sit it, you know, back side, sticky side up. When I'm doing this, I'm hitting that cool button. I'm not hitting it with really, really high heat um, all the time. I'm kind of hitting that cool button every now and then, so it's not so much heat. Okay, and now it's sticky again. Okay, so I'm gonna put that sticky, always sticky side up whenever you lay it down somewhere because it is very sticky and you don't want it. Um, you don't want it ruining your transfer. All right. Now I will tell you, I do use Norwex, Norwex um, which McCollets all the time because they're reusable and I can wash them. So instead of using so many paper towels, I use, what are these, the kitchen mats or whatever it is, my Norwex cloth. You guys can see it's really dirty. I need to wash it, but they're great because they soak up the excess really well and really fast and um, and I like that they're reusable. I'm not doing it tonight because I need to wash mine, but usually that's what I'm using. Okay. So hopefully Michelle, did that answer your question? So now I'm just heat setting the ink. Okay. About 30 seconds on each side with an easy press. I do it about 300 to 325. You can use just a regular home iron. You just have to do it for like, what, three minutes on each side, I think it is. It's been a while since I've used one. So you do this side and then you flip it over and you do the other side. All right, but we're not gonna do that right now because I'm about to reuse it. So let me, all right. That's really hot. I'm gonna wait a second before I lay my transfer down because that, that heat can start to melt my transfer. So we're gonna wait a second. In fact, I'm gonna hit it with some cool air. Oh my goodness, I'm leaning over trying to clean up my area here. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Well, type um, four minutes. Okay, thank you, Leanne. Okay, that was just the cool air. Um, well, Michelle, type the, if you type the word VIP in the comments, um, you'll get added to my private crafting group. So a lot of times I go live here, but then we take the topic and just expand it in my private crafting group. And sometimes I offer deals and bundles and, and all of those things in that group. So we try to have, we try to have fun in there. Okay, so here's an, here's an idea for you guys just to, it was, made me think of it. So there's so many different things you can do with these transfers. So if I wanted to... I could take this transfer, 
I don't know if you guys can see this on the on the screen, but if I offset it just a little bit where I see a little bit of the white, um, I can then use another color and it looks uh, shadowed. So you can do that effect. Oh my gosh, there's so many different things. I do love that effect quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to lay this down and try to get as close to the original layout because, all right, hopefully this color will work. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to see. Oh, it's new. Let's see here. Storm. Do I have another storm? I have a fawn. Let's see what this one is. Oh. That one's storm. Let's see if this one's opened. I'm so bad. I get so excited. Oh, yep, this one's opened. Okay, I get so excited about colors, and then I order, I see it online, I'm like, oh, I want that color, and then I don't even realize I already have it, so I've gotten much better. All right, so we are going to, this squeegee's a little big, but we're going to now go over this and try to pull a little bit more color. It was brighter in person, or uh, more visible in person than it was on the camera, but I just don't know over time. I mean, it's permanent, but you guys know. I mean, it's going to eventually fade, let's be real, uh, maybe after many, many washings. But So a little trick, too, like I just bumped into this area, but I don't really care because, you know, it's a plaid shirt and you're not really going to see just a tiny little bit of ink up there. But if you guys are inking something like a onesie or a t-shirt, in fact, I'm going to be doing some Father's Day shirts here soon uh, for the boutique. And um, if you don't, if you're scared, you're going to, you know, get aggressive and go over, get excited, go over in the areas. Take some painter's tape and block off the areas you don't want to ink with that painter's tape. Like down here, I could have totally put country girl in painter's tape so that way I didn't accidentally go too far. Just a little trick, inking trick, or really paste trick too. Doesn't have to be ink. Again, I'm just pulling off any excess because the great thing is we don't need a whole lot of product. We just need to cover the area. And then I take any excess, no matter how small, and I put it right back in the container. And then I cover it up. And we're going to pull this up, and hopefully it is... Hey, Sharice, how are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Much better color. It's going to show up just a little bit better than the silver did. So, lesson learned. If I'm going to use the silver in the future, I'll use a darker background. So, you guys, I'm going to hit this with my heat press. Um, let me hit it with my blow dryer first, and that way... Start the process. But to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of liking this ink splot. And I might go in there and clean up just a little bit of it, make it look a little bit more even or so. I don't know. But um, I'm liking this ink splot because you can choose different ink colors, really, which will be cool. said and done you guys after I heat set this I can throw it in the wash and it, it acts like a regular shirt I literally just throw it in the wash and um and we're good to go oh my heat press all right so again 30 seconds on each side because it's a heat press four minutes on each side when you have a regular house iron Yes, I agree. The silver was such a cute idea. I loved it, but um, I agree. The, the color looks a little bit better with the uh, Storm ink. So that was Midnight Sky and Storm 
I don't know. We retire colors, so I don't know. I think they're still available, or there's probably something very similar, to be honest. flip it over and we do the other side it's a little tacky but okay we do the other side and then what I'm gonna do is wash it because I bought it thrift store today so I'm gonna wash it and then yeah we'll be good to go you guys I don't know if I need the parchment on this side I don't know if the parchment's there to protect the ink but I always put it down. I do too, Missy. So this is an alternative for the bleaching process a little bit cleaner <laughs> let's say um, I still want to try the oops I still want to try the bleaching process but look at this you guys look at how stinking cute I might just leave it like it is I kind of like it it's like splattered there's no it's off center it's whatever I, I really kind of like that actually so yeah my gosh. Hey, Christy, how are you? Yes, I do sell my items, Michelle. Um, a lot of times I also offer discounts in my VIP group for items, but are you in Virginia? Where are you located? I'm in Virginia, but I can ship, um, but I own a boutique here as well. So wherever um, you are, okay, guys, I'm going to move this camera down here so that, all right. Yay! Super cute! Now you can see my messy, messy craft room. Oh my gosh, who doesn't have a messy craft room? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for following me through my YouTube fail into a really cute flannel upcycle. I love this so much. I, I think I'm actually going to... um be doing several of these. And you guys, I don't know. Let me see if I can show this to you guys. So you can see this is not, well, it's, it's meant to look rustic. Oh gosh. I wish it would come through a little bit of that silver is it's like sparkly. So where some of these divots are, it's actually sparkles. I don't think I can make that. See that sheen. It's actually some of that silver coming through. That's so cool. I love it. Um, but anyway, so this was using our ink projects and the Country Girl Transfer. I will put links to both in my uh, post here. If you guys want to join my private crafting group where we talk fun, it was lemons last week and a little bit of this week because I just love lemons, uh, the lemon decor theme. Uh, the last couple of days, it's been windmills. I don't know what the next topic will be. We'll see what I get inspired with here soon. Um, but I try to do all different types of crafting projects. So type the words VIP in the comments if you're interested. If you're interested in learning about chalk couture and maybe becoming a designer like me and making pretty things, then just type the word uh, join in the comments and that will shoot out a message to you and we can start a conversation. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Tomorrow is hump day. Um, so anyways, have a wonderful night and I will see you guys soon. Bye.